yeah. So, so I, I think what people mean when they say flowchart, really, is they mean you have one option. For instance, like I do this and I always do that, right? I always do this. Even worse, I always do this into that. But if instead I say, all right, I'm going to have you block everything. I'm negative. Fuck, I gotta turn my thing on too. Uh, I think there are a lot of reasons why people don't understand what flowcharts really are and what they mean. So like, look at this. Flowcharts are for combos. Do you know your frames, Trebex? You know what frames are? Do you, like, do you know when you're negative three, when you're negative two, when you're negative four? Do you know those things? But if you do, then you'll know, like, let's say I'd say, I'm going to do down forward three or one, two. If I think you're going to do a high, I'm going to do this. High crush every time. Or if I think you're going to do a high, I can do that. Or you see how this goes? That's technically a flow chart. If you do this, I do that. That's a flow chart by definition. Everyone fucking does that. Everyone. It's called adaptation. Why would you not respond in a way that counters your opponent's play style? That's what that is. Oh, you're doing a high every time? I'm gonna fucking blow your shit up for it then. I'm gonna I'm gonna crush you. You know that that's that's what's going on there. Like, there are a lot of ways to punish someone. You don't have to just poke, 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 poke. Like, okay, sure, yeah, you can poke, 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 poke. But at some point, if your opponent is always jabbing you every fucking time, every time they're doing this, every time they block anything, boom, jab, great. That's, you should be countering that. But if they don't do that, let's say instead they do, this. They do a low. Oh, so now I can't do this anymore. This isn't gonna work, right? This isn't gonna work. So I got. So what else could I do? Well, I could do this, right? Is that a flow chart? If they do a low, then hop over it and fucking blow their shit up. So I think when people are thinking about flow charts, thanks for the follow, Tricorn. They're thinking of someone who does this. this the first thing, they they, they keep doing the same thing when it stops working. Now, this is what you call a strategy at this point. If you do highs, I'll do my high crush. If you do lows, I'll do my low crush. What's the next layer? What if you do a mid? Okay, you do a mid now. Well, if I do this, I lose. If I do the, sec the first option, I also lose. So what else can I do? What if I just backdash? If I backdash AOP? Come on, let me do it. Nope. So here, it ends. I might be able to evade. I should be able to walk around it, right? So I step left, my left. Let's try my left. That doesn't... Oh, there it is. So now... I have to sidewalk, I think. Sidewalk. There it is. It's so hard to get around that. I think I have to sidewalk it. Get the idea, though. Yeah, that means it's pretty good. I can't get it. I'm having a hard time getting around it. It's a pretty good mid. Um, let's try a different mid. Let's try... I guess that. Um, down one, down that's AOP, down back one, back four one. Let's do not that one. This one. Let's try this one. Okay, so I can't go that way. What about the other way? 
Yeah. Okay. So now. Okay, great. I can't. I did my first thing, right? That doesn't work. The, the high cross. I can't high cross that. I can't low cross that. Now, if I, you were a flow chart player, you. So you're down. You're not. It's over. You're done. Is that? But a real player does that. Has, oh, okay. So if my opponent likes to use a, a move that's linear, I do a sidewalk or a side step. I let him run. Well, got a sidewalk, I guess. <laughs> sidewalk them. Gets behind them. Does whatever the fuck they want. Technically, technically, all of those options are part of a flow chart. If this, then that. That's the whole game. The whole game is that. It's not mysterious. It's not like some magical, oh, I'm making big reads. No, I'm looking at what you do and I'm countering it. And I counter it harder. I, I make harder and harder counter decisions based on my confidence in what you th I think you're going to do. That's not flow charting. That's called being a fucking good player. So like, don't get bogged down in flow charts or like, I don't know. I guess we don't really talk about this in virtual fire. It's not a thing. I guess this is like more of a Tekken thing. Um, maybe it's more prevalent in Tekken potentially because you can't, you can't flow chart in virtual fire. You'll just die. You'll, you'll literally die. You'll get demolished. You will not get past go. Do not catch, collect a hundred dollars. Do not pass go. That kind of thing. What we learned yesterday, we have players are wired differently. We kind of are. A little bit. Um, I agree. It's hard to get around that move. Oh, yes, yeah, Slimey. I just saw you. Um, blew my mind to find out down forward one is negative two. On block. Um, I guess Limey. Okay, what, what did happen yesterday? I mean, Limey and I played together. You can draw some excellent Tekken tip videos. That's probably why I'm able to give those tip videos helpful, like so helpfully. I guess I'll I'll make that a segment. I just did there. I'll post the whole thing and then I'll have a segment saying flow charting. It's not really bad, actually. Our flow chart's bad. Our flow chart's bad, really. Our flow chart's really bad. Have you ever done, gone over neutral combos from non-natural combos? What the fuck are you talking about? Natural combos from non-natural combos. And non... What? You mean, you mean... I need you to be more descriptive. In my opinion, you're exploring Okazemi, then flowchart is natural. If you're exploring Okazemi, then flowcharting is natural. I just don't like the term flowcharting. It's not useful. Jailing? You mean, you mean like natural... You mean this? Like that? Or like that? Or that? That's what you mean? I don't even think of those normal combos. I don't, I, don't, I don't even think of those as natural combos. I know people do, but I, I don't think of them as that. Aha! So like, I guess this is a part of chunking. Someone asked me earlier, like, how do you, can you give an example of chunking? What that means? Like, like, how would you do it? How do you do it? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I gave you the example with the, with the pen the other day, but how do you, how do you describe that in a more descriptive way? And, and like chunking is hard to describe, because everyone chunks things differently and all that matters is that it makes sense to you and it may be idiosyncratic and it may not make any logical sense but so long as it makes sense to you and it serves as a chunk in your mind that's fine it doesn't matter it doesn't have to make sense to anybody else but you because your brain no one has to live in it but you and yourself so for me i don't think of these as combos in my brain because then it's taking up space with this and like that and i don't i want to categorize it in a different area so in my brain, I have it as, these are just hit confirms. To me, this is a hit confirm. First one hits, confirms in the second. Non-natural counts will be blocked. Partway through, they hit. I don't call those combos. They're different. I categorize things separately when they have different properties. If for you, it's helpful to think about that way, then that's, you know, that's, that's cool, that's fine. I don't find that to be utilitarian for my thought processes. And it makes things overly complicated and I have to sift through like, well, what are non-natural combos, what are natural combos? No, 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 no. These are strings. 
And in certain strings, natural combo, natural combo on counter hit, normal counter hit, that's fine. I'm not going to use your terminology for that. I'm going to stick to Virtual Fighter for that. I already have chunks from Virtual Fighter that map on just fine to this game. That's the thing when people say like BF is the foundation for all 3D games, that's kind of what they mean. If you play Virtual Fighter and you learn to play that game well, you can play any other 3D fighting game because they're all built on the bones of that. And oftentimes there are certain parts that are simplified in those other games that are fully fleshed out in Virtual Fighter. So I have a lot more chunks that I have to manage in VF for a lot of things that are a little more simplified in other games. There are fewer options a lot of the time. There are a lot more floor options in this game than there are in VF. There are like way more meaningful floor options in this game. So that I've had to expand and make a new set of chunks for um, because it's very, way more complicated. VF is far simpler on, on the floor, but in terms of like mix-ups, in terms of like strings, all that stuff, VF is way more complicated on that because of counter hits. Um, and the way counter hits kind of interact with stuff. Things are a little more like uniform and like one-dimensional when it comes to hits and counter hits in this game. You might get like a counter, you know, follow up string, but like that's different and it's weird and it's its own thing. So in my brain, I don't think of these as combos. I think of them as counter hit checks. I'm counter hit checking. Did this counter hit? Okay, cool. I might do this. I might do, uh, not that. Where is it? What is it? That, right? Because that's a counter hit check. That, co that combo's on counter hit. Thank you for metal pain, pain. I guess I should learn the terminology though, so I know what Tekken heads are talking about when they say these things. Maya, thank you for the follow as well. YouTube has been recommending me for a while. I have been watching there and your Shao Lao Ching Ling is amazing. Thank you. Um, Tekken strategy does use flowcharts often. What Tekken players do is use flowcharting to. Let me read what you said, Lime. Because Lime knows that Lime is a VFR, so he knows he knows he knows what's up. Oh, Tekken strategy does use flowcharts often. What Tekken players do is use flowcharting to to gauge what the opponent knows about the matchup, plus how players respond defensively. Uh, Rand, Ryan thinks they're referring to habits in neutral. He has autopiling, autopilot. Which is another thing people typically, we use that in Virtual Fire too, like you're autopiloting. You're just doing a thing and you don't care what I do, you're just gonna do your thing, right? Uh, I would agree with that line of porcupine. I just discovered my YouTube a couple weeks ago. Happy to catch me streaming? Yes, I'm glad you got me streaming too. Um, yeah, I think... This is another hot take, I guess. I have a lot of hot takes, apparently. <laughs> um, Autopiloting isn't bad. I think of it as like Goku, like Super Saiyan level, base Goku, Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, all that stuff. If Goku can beat your ass in base mode, he doesn't go Super Saiyan. He just beat your ass in base mode. Zen, I think it's better at all levels of play. Let me explain. Okay, um, so basically, one of the things that makes stronger players stronger than you, if you're weaker than them, is that their autopilot is better. Like when I'm fighting in VF, someone who's way weaker than me, who's new, or even if they're intermediate, my brain's off. Like, if I want to, I can turn my brain off and just beat the fuck out of them. And I'm just autopiloting the whole way through. I'm just doing this, 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 and this, this, and this. And like, sure, am I adapting and I'm making adjustments? Yes. But am I like having to think super hard about everything I'm doing? No, I'm not. Because I'm automatically responding appropriately to what you're doing because I already know what to do. I mean, like it's, it's inside my brain at a, low, at, at, at a deeper level. So I don't have to spend resources thinking about that. I don't have to spend resources thinking, oh, this motherfucker keeps doing high jabs. I just, I notice it and I do it. And I don't even have to think about it. I just do it. That's autopiloting. So what makes it a strong player strong is that their autopilot is stronger than yours. The weaker player has to think about, oh, is that a high? I don't know if that's a high. It might be a high. Is that a mid? I should probably evade that mid. Can I evade that mid and like actually hit him after I evade it or not? I don't know, but let me figure it out. Let me try. Let me think about this. In terms of metal stack, 
that's overloading their mental stack. That's why beginners are so are always overloaded because they have all these things they have to think about that they're not sure about. They don't know. But an expert player knows. They know. Okay, yeah, you did it high. I've seen that, I've seen that animation a million fucking times. I'm just going to blow you up for it. And there's no extra thought on it. They just know this is the response to that. And you get fucked for it. Okay? Thanks for the follow, Shin Joker. So, so strong players have a stronger autopilot. That's one of the base features that makes them so strong. Uh, please be advised that there was a moral, moral battle when deciding to follow you. Let me be that homie. There was a moral battle? What was the, how was there a moral battle? Who are you fighting? Limey? Is that Soul Edge theme? How am I already controversial? I haven't done anything. Yes. Um, I think flowchart shaming stemmed from Ken players, but there's better discourse around it now. Yeah, there is. Uh, that was legendary. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he's been here. I never thought about things that way, but it's true. Yeah, autopilot. So, so basically your goal when you're trying to get better is that your autopilot needs to be better. You need to spend less mental energy adapting to your opponent. Don't be wasting your fucking brain power on noticing they did a high because they kept doing that every time and you have to spend extra energy saying, oh, was that a high? Wait, they're doing highs? I show how you do this before. No, that should be automatic. You should automatically say, oh, fuck, they're doing highs. Okay, we're gonna, I'm going to do this. Boom, you're done. Sit. You're doing, you're doing mids. Okay, cool. I'm just going to evade that shit, you know? And blow you up for it. A strong player does that automatically. There's no extra thought involved. You don't want to be spending lots of mental energy on dumbass shit that it could be automatic. That should be automatic. That should be automatic. Especially if someone's doing it over and over again. Come on. Just, just blow them up. Blow them up for it. With no extra thought. Zen. What's the question? Uh, yeah, you're right. But the context I usually hear autopiloting is when it comes to beginners autopiloting and not moving. Yeah. But this channel isn't just for beginners. I'm talking to advanced and intermediate players as well. And I'm talking to you as an expert virtual fighter player. So, like, I'm not talking to beginners. That's not who's in here. Maybe some of you are, and that's cool. And you're getting a preview as to what will happen as you get stronger. And I'm trying to guard against, I'm trying to protect you from bad advice, basically, that, per that is pervasive in our scene. Not just Tekken, but like in the fighting game scene. There's a lot of misconceptions about how you get better at these games. And I'm trying to protect you from them. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to protect you from that shit. It's very rare for a, a, an expert player in, in like another game that's related to come to your game and say, hey, this is how I think you might want to approach things from, 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 from the beginning, right? Right, the fact that I have that credibility helps a lot. Otherwise, you'd be like, who the fuck are you? You haven't done anything. Why should I listen to you? I'm like, because, because I've done it. That's why. That's why I've done it already. That's why you should listen to me. <laughs> and you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't want to. But like, if you do, you probably will, you might play better. Okay. If you're stuck, you might play better. You listen to some of the things I'm telling you. You might. Just might. And it's counter to what people are saying, which is don't autopilot. It's too simple. It's too simple of a statement. No, make your autopilot better. <laughs> yeah, right. Snake Edge. Because everything I'm telling you is basically you're trying to take things off of your mental stack. That's why autopiloting is so powerful and having a strong base form, which is what I consider autopilot. Autopilot is base form. I'm not thinking very hard about this. You gotta pick and choose when autopilot. No, 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 no. Autopilot's always there. You're always autopiloting. Tell me this. When you do a move and it's blocked, do you sit there and think consciously, I'm gonna block now? Is that a thought you make? Do you, consciously say, do you consciously spend effort and thought about, I'm going to block now? Or do you just automatically block when you decide, I don't want to attack now because it's not my turn anymore? I bet you you're not thinking, oh, am I going to block now or not? Because if you are, you're getting hit. It's automatic. That's what automatic, that's what autopiloting is. 
okay? Break out your fucking mind and th thinking that autopiloting is some special ethereal thing. It's not. It's just a part of how our brains work. You should not be spending any mental energy choosing to block there. Why the fuck would you be thinking about it? Just notice she blocked my shit. Okay, I'm going to block now because I think they're going to do this. I'm going to block. It's automatic. You might choose to say, I don't want to attack here. I don't want to evade here. I don't want to XYZ thing, right? I, I don't want to duck here. I don't want to get hit by a mid, right? Are you thinking about that? It is flow state. Exactly. 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 It is flow state. You're trying to enter flow. And you can't enter flow if you're spending energy thinking about shit. You gotta just do it. And that's automatic. You gotta get your ultra instinct fucking turned on. And if you keep getting in the way, because you're saying, I don't want to autopilot. I don't want to autopilot. No, no, no. Fuck that shit. Just, just make your shit better. Become auto instinct. There's no thought involved. The only things you really should be thinking about are what your opponent's next choice is going to be. That's the only thing you should be thinking about. But your actions, your decisions, should be automatic. Your responses, once you've decided, I'm going to do this. The way you execute that should be automatic. You should not be thinking, I'm going to dash, I'm, I'm, I'm going to step, and then press back, back after a certain amount of time. That should be automatic. Everything that can be trained in practice and doesn't require extra thought should be done as such. If you're not, you're wasting your fucking mental energy on shit that's not important. You're wasting fucking resources because you only have so much mental power. You can't attend to everything. You just can't. So don't waste it on bullshit. Don't waste it. Spend it on your opponent, on their mix-ups, on their options, on what they're doing. That's what you should be thinking about. That's where you are focusing on. So when people are saying you're flow charting or you're autopiloting, what they really mean is you're not attending to what your opponent's doing. You're not focused on them. You're too internally focused. You're welcome to develop suit. Thank you. That's what flow charting really means, I think, when people say it. Or autopiloting. More productive to have a general plan and frame all the smaller moments around that. Larger plan versus micromanaging each little interaction. Uh, 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 Wuggly Cat, yes and no. As you get stronger and stronger, you will be micromanaging each little situation. But in order to do that, your autopilot has to be very strong on other things. So sometimes, right, it's like driving without thinking about it. Exactly. Is your brain off when you're driving? No. You just look at your, check your mirrors, you check your, you know, your left and right, but you're doing it. That's autopiloting you're automatically piloting your vehicle it's what's more than muscle because muscle memory is not really real your muscles don't remember anything it's your brain it's all your brain muscles don't remember shit our brains are doing it but i know what you mean but it's not the muscles don't remember anything it's your brain telling it on driving after i was in a car so i was active driving for a while and maybe yeah yeah, yeah I, I know what you mean Ovin. Uh, be like water. If you put water in a glass, it becomes a glass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be like water, indeed. What if you don't want to block, so you lure your opponent into a false sense of security, then crush them with their hope as high as just to crush their spirit and make them plug? I mean, sometimes you gotta make a fucking plug, right? 